I don't know the last time I did anything filmed anything for this vlog. And there may not actually be much of a vlog for this time. But, hello. It is the 7th of May. April was a bit of a mess. Um, mostly because I was just stressed out for literally the entire month. Um, and we bought a house. And we're moving at the end of this month. And I'm almost done with school. I technically have two assignments left to turn in. One I just finished. The other one I'm going to be working on this week. And then I finished my second semester of grad school. And that's a lot. So, yeah, so I'm... We're starting to kind of get into, trying to get into some habits that we're going to use in the new house, like getting up a little earlier. Um, we're trying to figure out where everything's going to go because it is a different space. It's a new space. And yeah, um, I'm actually going to have time to do some reading. I'm going to get back into running because I miss both of those things. I'm going to try and write again, write a bit more. Maybe I'll finish that thriller this this year. Um, I do need to sign up for classes for next semester, so I will be doing that as well. Um, but generally speaking, we want to try and get outside this summer. Just be outside more. And I'm sounding hoarse because I'm tired and it's 11.30. Um, because, of course, I don't talk any other time. Uh, one update is that my bookshelves are basically empty. Because we've moved stuff into the house. Um, so that'll be interesting because I won't have bookshelves for until the 20th of May. I won't have bookshelves at the house until then. Because that's when the moving van is coming and they're going, or the moving truck, whatever, and they're going to take all the big furniture. But, this week, I will be doing, um, I will be putting my desk together. I got a brand new desk. Um, mostly because I wanted a larger one. I have a giraffe-themed wall that it is going to be on, and I'm so excited for my office. I, I will show you guys that, hopefully in this video or in another one. I'm not sure what's going to go on yet. But, yeah, I have finished my management class, and I finished my reference class. I turned in the last group of... Si well, one of my group members turned in... One of the other group members, she turned in our last group assignment for the Organization of Information class, and I just have one more assignment left for organization, and I'm done, which is just so weird. Um, but tomorrow I work, tomorrow's Monday, I will be packing up basically the rest of the books that are in this house, which are all the books that are on top of my bookshelves. I have three shelves of books left, like three of the individual shelves, and then the books that are in the bedroom, as well as John's books, because I haven't packed up John's books yet either. Um, what I can tell you, as far as how many books we will have in our house now, is the equivalent of about six bookshelves worth of books. So it's quite a few. A solid number, I would say. There are over a thousand books, and I really just don't have the space. So we'll see what ends up happening. I may do an unhaul. I probably should anyways. Um, like, kind of hardcore go through them and cut books. But I also plan on reading more, and I also plan on just trying to live my best life. Um, 2023, I have kind of decided is the year where I'm just going to try to find myself again, because I've kind of gotten lost on my way of trying to figure out what I want, and I figured out most of what I want, and now it's time to start putting that into action, so... That's what this year is going to be for me. I know it's May and I'm saying this now, but... Yes, so I'm going to start doing that. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to start this. And I don't know why I'm being so weird. I think I'm just, as you can tell with the bags under my eyes, I am exhausted. I need like a week off. And I just had several days off 
to go to the a polycon to go to the book conference that I went to, but I will say that was not like that was a vacation, but I need like to recuperate from that vacation because it was a long couple of days. I was really tired. Um, we got up early every day. It was very busy. There were a lot of people. <sighs> Great. I am currently reading, just because I can do that. I'm currently about 73% of the way or so through Little Eve by Catriona War Ward. Um, I This book is so interesting. Um, this is an arc I got, and I am very late on reading, and I'm so sorry about that. I need to get back into good habits with the arcs that I had. Um, most of the books that I have actually are no longer arcs, so I have like two. And one of them is The Archive of Dying, which I do plan on reading this month. Um, but Little Eve is a horror, like, cult book. And it's so interesting. And so all over the place. Very emotionally, like, emotionally jarring. Um, but very, very good. I really like it. Um... As of right now, I don't even know what I'm going to rate. I have no idea. Um, absolutely none. I've also been reading Magical Midlife Madness by K.F. Breen. That one's really cute. It is a werewolf romance. I did not realize that when I first started, mostly because I, was, I just read the back of the book, and I was like, I am intrigued, and I want to read it. Um, and then I'm also working through the ebook of Can't Spell Cheesing Without Tea by Rebecca Thorne, which is adorable. Um, but I just haven't been reading my ebook very much lately, so. I haven't been reading that one lately. I've been on Little Eve, so. Yeah. I should finish Little Eve tomorrow without a problem. I will be finishing up Magical Midlife Madness in not terribly long. It's a very good book. It's very cute. It's very quick. Um... And treason, Can't Spell Treason Without Tea is just going to be one of those that I'm going to hopefully have time to read before bed now. So that's that's my goal. And when I'm not going to bed at 11.30 or midnight, that's going to make life so much easier. So that's a goal right there. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you think I should read. It's kind of somewhere there. But yeah, that's kind of what it's looking like right now. Um, and I don't know. I guess I'll just talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to bed though, because I'm falling asleep. So, okay, bye. <laughs>
We did the thing and we flipped it over. This needs to be on this side. Little barn. So, to be fair, it was on the floor and we couldn't see where these were positioned and I forgot they existed the moment they left my side. I mean, we do have ADHD. And someone's mowing the lawn when it's 8.30 at night. Dark outside. So we're gonna... I will laugh if it's my boyfriend. <laughs> he was in the garage, so I don't think... <laughs> we did the thing. The desk is together. We kind of got some directions wrong, and now this is supposed to be over here, and this shelf should be over here. But I'll fix that later. Did the desk? It's built. It is built. It. Yes, I like the shelf. We'll put the computers up on top of it. I think. The more I'm thinking about it, the more that makes sense. But yeah, did a thing, and Callie helped. I do what I can. Did the thing, and now it's less messy in here now too. Look at that. I gotta find places to put things now, and I can put I can empty boxes into the drawers. Because <laughs> that's what's in those two boxes. Very fancy drawers. Yeah, they're fancy. They're cloth drawers. They are. Which is weird. So like the inside is like a cloth, and the sides are cloth, but this front part's plywood. So I'm not sure. We'll see how what I think of them. I mean, they're reinforced, so you can still put some weight in them, but it's still a little. Yeah, they are reinforced down here, so it should be fine. But ooh. Cool, but we did the desk. We built a desk. Let's go. So I put it together. I have a coffee bar now with teacups on top, coffee mugs, candle, coasters. The only decaf coffee I have right now. Sugar and a grinder. And these are drawers, three drawers, and there's tea in the top drawer, so. Yeah, and there's a little plug-in that can go over here. So yay, I did a thing last night. I didn't film it because I didn't know how long it was going to take. You're good. So we're unhappy about it being different, but we're handling it pretty well. We're doing okay. There you go, good girl. You're good. Go hide under the tape under the bed again. Oh, there you go. Good girl. Oh girl, there you go, you're good, hi, we had a kitty cat out, you wanna go see, you wanna go see who it is, I know it's not dad, hi mama, I'm pretty kitty, <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> we're not running away, so that's progress, and this is what Callie's been doing. <laughs> this is her task for the day because when she moved, this is what I did. <laughs> it's just what we do for each other. We organize the books. We do. So we're doing genre because that's how I live my life is by the librarian standard. But yeah. And it's alphabetical and there it, it actually does go alphabetical in a weird... <laughs> <laughs> They were all in the closet. They are now out of the closet. They are out of the closet. <laughs> they are now out of the closet. So that is progress. And quite a few are upstairs, but that's okay. So yes. Progress. Empty shells. Yeah. Sounds like, yeah. Sounds like a bad song. <laughs> I don't know. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to come here? No? No? Okay. Hi, it is the 22nd of May. We are moved in, basically. Um, schools, the semester is done. And we have moved furniture into the house, so we are now here full time. And just moving the remaining crap that we have back over. I really haven't done much of an update, and I'm sorry for that. I um, honestly, I haven't been filming much just because it's been stressful, I'm tired, it's been a lot lately. But, I guess we can do a quick little update while I'm drinking my coffee this morning. This is my Apollicon mug that I got this year. Look how cool it is. I love it. I love it. I think it's great. It's very, very nice. 
And they don't actually have any creamer, so I put a little bit of chai spice in my coffee this morning, and it's really good. I'm really liking it, so. But one thing that I have talked about a lot before, I don't know if I've talked about it actually here or not, but one thing I really wanted to do once we moved was I wanted to start running again because there's some great running trails right around here. And so I did, and I went running this morning, and it's been years since I've actually gotten up and run, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember the last time I actually was able to get up and run. I'm pretty sure it was over a year ago, and it shows. I am so out of shape. I have not been working out at all, and so we're starting from scratch. So I guess I can make, it's not really a series on the channel, but I will be um, trying to run about six days a week. I used to run seven days a week, um, and I'm going to try and just do like two or three miles in the morning, because I did that this morning. I ran 2.3 miles. Um, <laughs> Took me a while, but I did it. Honestly, it took me nearly half an hour to run um, 2.3 miles, but I did the thing. I went out, I ran at 6.30 this morning, and I feel pretty good about myself, honestly. I feel more awake this morning, and I'm sure that'll change after today, but yeah, so I did the thing. Lana is still not happy about the move, and we knew she wasn't going to be, um, but we're, uh, we're keeping a close eye on her. Um, John's talking about taking a half day just because, um, his parents are actually here, and they're helping us move the rest of our stuff. Um, they're coming up from another state, so, yes. Not far, just a couple hours. Um, but... She's not happy because she's in a new environment. She's not a big fan of strangers. And they're not so much strangers as she just doesn't see them very often. So she's on high alert. Um, you'll have seen in clips she did find the sun. So she's pretty happy about that right now. But yeah, she's, she's very twitchy. She's very... Um, we're good and then we're very not good. So we're... Keeping an eye on her. Um, she is eating still a little bit. She's not eating as much as she did before. She's not scarfing it down. But she is eating. So we're not too worried yet. Um, stress kind of gets to her usually. So we're working on it. She's getting there. <laughs> it's also only our second day in this house. So that also may be a thing. But it is Monday. I work today. I actually have to leave in about an hour for work. I am editing videos, and I am doing laundry, which I need to set a timer for that. Hold on. Let's do that quick. Yeah, that'll work. Um, I still haven't hung up shelves in this office, so my, there's, my, my desk is full of stuff that will be on the shelves. <laughs> but for now... We did empty a lot of boxes. Uh, the worst fender right now is actually the kitchen. Um, I'm also going to go down, I think, and I'm going to work on the den a little bit, the books. I'm going to be rearranging them. Um, Callie started yesterday, and I appreciate it, so I'm going to continue with that. And I'm going actually to start with my like contemporary romance and fiction shelves. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm going to move on to fantasy later on. There's quite a few of them. We did figure out how everything's organized. These are basically my collections are up here. Um, my Tamar Pierce collection, my Harry Potter collection, my Lord of the Rings collections, all my manga are up here. Um, I do have all of my sprayed edges up here as well because I have been getting those in the unplugged box and they look so good. Um, I'm so excited. And... Also, all the graphic novels are up here as well, so... Yeah, and then all of my games, all of our non-fiction books, so like textbooks, school books, um, non-fiction in general, and all of the mass market paperbacks are up here because they don't, they don't look good. I don't like how they look on regular shelves for here, but yeah. So that's what I got right now. Um, I don't really know. Things are going. 
Uh, we did kind of decide on a name for my... If you haven't seen, I have this guy. He's my plague doctor. Squishy. I got him from Barnes, and he has a name now. His name is Jeffrey, and he's very soft, and he sits in the corner um, of my desk right now as my little motivator, so... Yeah! Um, but I will do, once we're settled and everything's all together, I'll do a house tour if you guys are interested. Um, otherwise, I'll just do kind of an office tour and den tour as well, so yes. But it's beautiful outside. It has been very lovely the past couple days, which is great for moving. Um... I'm not starting the garden yet. I will be hopefully starting to plant some seedlings um, and some seeds. We'll see if they grow. It's a little late in the season, I know that. Um, hopefully next weekend is when I'm hoping to start, so we'll see. It's going to be late in the year, but should be fine. But yeah, so that's my update. It's a little bit of a long update, but that's okay. And... Honestly, because it's Monday, this might be where I end the vlog, and if it is, I will... And if it's not, I will cut it right here, and you can watch the rest of it. But if it is, I hope you enjoyed. I know there wasn't a lot to this vlog, and I'm actually wearing, I think, the exact same shirt that I was wearing at the beginning of the vlog, like, three, two or three weeks ago. I promise I've changed since then. I've showered, I have done a lot of stuff, and I've worn other clothes as well. So, yes. Sorry, cat's looking to jump up on the windowsill. Ow. Yeah. You can't jump on top of the screws. I'm sorry, sweetie. Yeah. So, we're a little, we're a little grumpy. A little anxious, but we'll make it through. We'll be alright. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep reading. Bye.